Well, hello, everyone. It cometh a egg here, and I no longer have to live with the uncertainty of hep C. Uh, anybody else getting that commercial a ton? Every time I watch a video, I got to see uh, something about, I don't have to live with the uncertainties of hep C. What are you trying to tell me, YouTube? Huh, Google? Anyway, my pants are clean, and uh, come with an egg back here with you. I'm not going to start collecting these Funko Pops. I swear to God, I'm not, but I saw my favorite character from my favorite show, so I, I did have to get my very first one and only uh, Penguin Pop Funko, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm ill-prepared to make a video today, but it should be entertaining. And again, I no longer have to live with the uncertainty of hep C, because ain't that a burn? But anyway, uh, we're here back again doing another video. Today is kind of a mail day. I got a mail day from a uh, group break that I did with the good folks over at Sports and Geekery. Uh, hope you're feeling better, buddy. Uh, I'll open that off camera, because if you want to see what I got, just go to their last box break. Uh, I took part in that. So that was lots of fun. Grandma's here, so she's showing off. They tell my sweet jumper. Can't say come to this. Gross, Grandma. Real gross. Anyway, as promised, I'm coming back with a video about PSA DNA. I'm basically putting together my top 40 uh, baseball players that I grew up liking uh, and wanted to get autographs of. And I dig the PSA DNA format. Uh, just chilling here with Johnny Cucks. And we had a uh, mail day today. Don't be jealous now. I got a Franklin Stubbs autographed rookie card. Oh. Anyway, this is when Franklin Stubbs was just a young girl. It's beautiful. Very pretty in a dark club or something. Maybe Derek Jeter would want to hit on. Anyway, let um, me get away from Franklin Stubbs here. We'll just jump right into a PSA DNA. Boom. So I've got these in year order. Uh, basically all going to have this old school PSA DNA. I don't like trading card. I don't like that they just put trading cards on ones now. I don't like it. I don't collect them. I don't buy them. I got to have the old where it says what it really is. So I got Nolan Ryan starting it out. And from the same buyer, I got Mike Schmidt. Nice to have the uh, autograph on a card that already has the facsimile autograph. So we'll start off with a good one. Nolan Ryan, 1977. I've also been digging on a new channel called Carter's Kids. This guy is a Gary Carter super collector, and I did see this 1980 Tops. I think he's got about a 1,000 of these. Uh, he's a fairly new channel like myself, uh, but he's just a really good guy, really positive, so I like the Gary Carter autograph on the Gary Carter autograph. Kind of a cool card, great picture. So I am also a Gary Carter fan, but not near anywhere in the ballpark of Carter's Kids. Uh, Dave Winfield from 82 Donruss. Uh, Willie Stargell, same 82 Donruss. Uh, let me let you in on a little secret here. I love Kmart. Uh, there's one Kmart in Southern Colorado. It's way out of my way, but I still keep going back all the time uh, because I just love Kmart. I used to work there. I have like a lot of positive uh, memories <laughs> involving Kmart. Stop. Shut up. Don't make fun of me. But anyway, uh, you want to get Hall of Famers autographs really cheap? Get them on Kmart cards. Like, really, I was just buying these up, and they're really inexpensive, but just because they're on a Kmart card, people don't bid real high, whatever it might be, Harmon Killebrew, home run, uh, king there, uh, Mr. Johnny Bench. Again, these are beautiful cards, they look like the old Topps cards, they autograph just fine, if you don't mind your case saying Kmart on it, which is a blue light special, uh, these could be great cards, so buy Kmart. Let's keep Kmart going. Uh, Wade Boggs, rookie card, autograph. Boss Hog, love the guy. Uh, Ozzie Smith, beautiful Wizard of Oz signature there. Kind of an early signature. Uh, Mr. Ryan Sandberg, Rhino, a cool signature there on 84 Donruss. You know, I love these. You can see exactly what they are, like this 86 tops. Eric Davis, or Mr. Tony Gwynn from 86 Donruss. Uh, here's a cool card. Uh, Corey Snyder was one of the first guys to autograph through the mail for me as a kid. But I guess the real guy here is the, the value is Cecil Fielder. And somebody had to pay to get this double authenticated. Was not me, so fine with that. Jose Canseco. Uh, again, 
Hank Aaron. How can you afford a Hank Aaron autograph and a Willie Mays autograph? Get them on Kmart cards. Kmart, saving people money even today. Uh, Pete Rose, you can get this guy's autograph for about $4 nowadays. Uh, I think that's basically all he's done for the past 30 years is sign his name. So Pete Rose is massively affordable. Got Mr. Greg Maddox. Move this stack up out of here. Going through these pretty quick, but I think there's 40 of them. There's about 40. Top 40. 40. Drink of uh, Greg Maddox here as well. Johnny Cucks just cucking around. You can't just cuck your way through life, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, here's another double. I wanted a Mark McGuire autograph. Uh, they were really expensive. So how do you get one cheap? Have Matt Noakes on it as well. Again, someone else had to pay double to get this double authenticated. Was not me. Uh, this was the cheapest Mark McGuire PSA DNA on eBay a few years ago. So I added that to the collection. Oh, guess what? Some more Kmart. It's to Andre Dawson. I paid less than the price you'd pay to get this authenticated. But it's a Kmart card, so people don't want it. I take them. Uh, Robin Ventura. Uh, this was a TTM when I was a little boy. Sent this out, and he sent it back rather quickly. I was very happy about that. And then I got it authenticated when the time was right. Uh, Kirby Puckett. His autographs are worth a lot, but get it on a Kmart card. You save yourself some money. Beautiful picture. Looks like he's kind of falling asleep, but it's kind of the same picture on his 89 Tops card. So, Kirby Puckett. Uh, Mr. Frank Thomas. A minor League card. Uh, 1990 autograph of uh, the Big Hurt. Is it the Big Hurt? Yeah, Big Hurt. Uh, John Smoltz. Old Smoltzy. You got some Smoltz on your face. But anyway, uh, nice card. <laughs> Great picture. Uh, here's a weird one. Roger Clemens from the uh, Topps TV All-Stars. This was a weird set. They made a lot of them, but they were kind of a lot harder to find than the regular Topps. This was cheaper than his others, so I went for it. Uh, probably one of my favorites out of the box is a really cool Cal Ripken autograph. He's another one of those all-time greats that just signs and signs and signs and signs. But this is like a, a mint nine on the card, and it's like a super hard-to-get card that's unlicensed. I think they gave them away in loaves of bread. So this is actually like a pop one, none higher. So while this, you know, normally a Ripken Auto, maybe 25, 30 bucks, I really dig this because, again, you won't find another one of them. They're oddballs, and that's what I'm all about. Uh, this guy, you probably don't know him. His name is Brian Traxler. He's awesome. Uh, everybody liked him. He died young. Uh, terrible story, but uh, great dude, great guy in person, just uh, like the uh, Chris Farley of baseball back in 1990. Uh, glad to have this uh, and glad it came back authentic. Uh, I can't afford an autograph of the first black player in the major leagues. That's out of my price range, but the second Super cheap. So uh, you can get Larry Doby autographs for uh, very inexpensive. He's part of baseball history. And uh, maybe dollar for dollar, your best value in autographs is this gentleman here. Uh, another through the mail I got. This guy is like a through the mail Hall of Famer. If you ever sent Mike Mussina anything, I think as a kid, I sent him six or eight items and he sent me back six or eight. Uh, this is my last remaining one. It was the coolest card with the coolest autograph. So Got it encased before they started going to trading card up here. It's definitely happy about that. Another through the mail that I got as a kid in 92 is this Tom Glavin. Just a beautiful autograph on a beautiful card. Thought it would look good in a case, so I went for it. Uh, Hall of Famer Mike Piazza autograph on his rookie card. Uh, Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. with a big scrolling, sprawling... Sprelling, Spaldings, that's it, Spaldings autograph on this card. Uh, I know there's a few Barry Bonds collectors out there, so this is kind of an older Barry Bonds autograph from back when they did the PSA DNA sticker back here. But just a cool autograph, I didn't have a Bonds autograph, kind of figured you needed one. So uh, again, Larry Doby, such a good deal, buy in bulk. Uh, that's a great looking picture and a great card of a great player, so... I mean, really picked it up for an insane deal. Very happy with that. We're going to start knocking out the Tommaso e Ciampa. Yes, the Tommaso. And uh, Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Cool, affordable rookie card of this guy. Was very happy about that. Uh, almost done here with the 40. Here's Chipper Jones. My boy Joe likes Chipper Jones. How you doing, Joe? 
How's the family? Hope everything's going well. And, uh, oh, my Tommaso, you fall down. They say go boom. And, uh, Derek Jeter, this is the priciest card of my 40. Uh, I bought this card. My friend of mine bought this card in a big old Derek Jeter lot. The guy promised up and down that it was a real signature. It just looked too good to be true right up to the edge there. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, probably my favorite card. But being a Yankee guy, I also have Mr. Bernie Williams. I'm such a Yankees fan. I even have his jazz albums. What? But anyway, uh, these are my PSA DNA. I guess you'd say like a top 40 of baseball. Uh, thank you for watching. Be more videos coming, more subscriptions, more videos, more fun, more happy. And everybody know it. Come up, hey.